Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to use free hosting to manage a live site. First, go to byte.host. This is a nice free hosting site. First, I am searching in Google. This is the free hosting website. Go to this link. Sign up for free hosting. Click this button. Yes. Here, uh, the form is completed from my previous input. Now, we will try with a new entry. First of all, we have to set a subdomain name. Uh, this should be unique. So, uh, I set it as uh, free hosting test. Okay. Set a password that should be required to log in in cPanel. Uh, input your email address. Now I am trying to uh, register with a Gmail account named web.absb at gmail.com. Category type personal. Then site language English. That's okay. Zero. Okay. Hit again. Yes. Now, an email is sent uh, which was set in my uh, registration form. It was where.absb at gmail.com. Here it is. This is my email address which uh, was set in the registration form. So, I refresh it and I should get an email. I cannot see the email. So, uh, I, I will check the spam. Yes. Here it is. So, if you don't find it in inbox or social or promotion or update, then you should go spam and it should be there. Now, uh, I will active the uh, account by clicking this link. Here you can see all information uh, required to manage your cPanel but password is not visible now if i check my email we can get the password so i am back here and i will get additional email in spam yes here it is yes this is the information uh, i require to manage my cPanel and all of the stuff okay nice here you can see all credential information and a cPanel URL. Okay, now click this link. This is the cPanel login form. Okay, now here uh, I can see the cPanel username is activity login. This is the cPanel username username control p and activity password is the cpanel password control p login yes now i will show you how to add a live domain to this free hosting here is the section where you can add domains okay Click this link. Here you can see a notification which tells you that before adding any domain, you should add this name server information to your domain dashboard. Okay. Now I will add a domain name milkhead24.com. This is the domain dashboard. I will add the name server information here. DNS information at DNS hosting. Here you should input the domain name for which the DNS information will be changed. Domain name is nilkhead24.com. Next. 
Now click Manage GNS. Here is the name server information. Now uh, I want to change this. Click this uh, button Change and you can set your new GNS information, name server information. Here, what is the new name server information? This is here ns1byte.org, copy and paste. Additionally, I will set this to here, copy paste. I can add uh, more than two name server information by adding add name server. Okay. Copy and paste here. Additionally, I will set and last one is the same except the number is increment by one. Yes. Now hit save button. Yes. Your DNS record is saved. Now you can refer this domain to this hosting, to this free hosting. Okay. I am typing newcat24.com. Now hit this add domain button. In this stage, we see an error message. The reason of this error are very straightforward. The name server propagation time is 24 to 72 hours. That means I change the name server information in my domain dashboard and it may take maximum 72 hours to propagate. So I have to wait until it is propagated properly. Okay, I am waiting for this propagation. I am back and try again. Add domain. Yes, perfect. The propagation was completed and uh, after that I hit the add domain button and it is perfect. Okay. Now I can enjoy this free hosting. All setup is okay. Now I will upload my desired project here. Click this link. And here you can upload. Now I can see here my domain name nilkate24.com. I will upload my application in this folder. Okay, go to this folder and hit upload button. Sorry, uh, here this is the stdocs folder. Uh, I should go there and I should upload my application here. Okay. Hit upload button. Choose file. Nilkhet24.com zip. Okay. My file size is more than 9.5 MB. So I cannot upload the file here directly. I should choose any FTP tool to upload my file. Now I will use FileZilla. Uh, I already installed FileZilla in my PC. There it is. Now I have to connect my free hosting site uh, via FileZilla. I need these three information. Host information, username, password. And port is by default 21. This information was sent in my email. Here is the information. FTP server, this is the host information. Control C. Put this here and username is FTP login. Control C. Control B. 
The password is this is the password. Okay, now hit the quick connect button and it will connect. Yes, successful. I can see the uh, free hosting website uh, uh, folder name and my domain name. Here is my target folder, nilkhet24.com. I will go one level deep, nilkhet24.com. And here is the uh, stdocs folder. I will upload my application here. Now I will find out my application from my local machine. This is my local machine. Left side represent my local machine. My application is located here. Okay. All file of my application is under this folder. So I have to upload all file uh, under this folder to stdocs under nilkhet24.com. So navigate to this folder and here I have to navigate to stdocs. Yes, all file transfer is successful. Oh, we can see the uh, successful transfer and failed transfer. There are three files which was not transferred. So uh, I will take care of this again. Select all, control A. This is not the file, it is a directory. So unselect this and reduce selected file. Reset and reduce selected file. Okay. Now uh, click right button on selected file and process queue. Select process queue. Yes, these three files also transferred. Okay, in this stage, we have to create a database in our free hosting site. Let's do it. Here is the panel to create database. To create a database, click on this link. Uh, I set my database name as nilkhet24. Create database. Now I can check this. This is my created database. Here is the MySQL user, MySQL password, MySQL hostname. Now I will go to the PSP my admin. First, I will go to home. Then I will go to PHP my admin. I want to take care of this uh, database, so connect now. I will import my application database, so hit import button. Choose file. My application database is located here. Database uh, under this database folder. This is my application database. Okay, select this file. Then go. Yes, nice. Application database has been imported successfully. Okay. Now check my database. Great. Okay. Now I have to configure my database in my application. Where it is located? It is located under online file manager. This is my application folder. And under this, I can find the file where I can change my database configuration. 
this is my kelp kist application so uh, database configuration file is located under app folder now go to config folder and this database.php file is responsible for all settings of database so to edit this file click this edit link yes nice here you can see all code as a normal text now i can set it as uh, code syntax here select the second option uh, nice uh, now i will change my database configuration my school database name is this is control c then it will be set here nice password password is blank okay login is username my skill user yes this is the my skill user name okay. hit this button and it will be saved sorry here i misguided you uh, password will not be blank password will be your cpanel password so uh, remember which was my cpanel password it was 156271 156271 okay save this here one more modification is required the host name belu will be set as this okay that changes belu here I, I set this value now database configuration is done database import is done application file has been uploaded it's time to check our application okay let's check it nilkhat24.com thus you can use this free hosting service to maintain a, a domain without any costing Today I covered all things of free hosting. If you want to support my channel, I really appreciate when you click like on videos and subscribe to my channel. If you subscribe, you will be notified through email when I upload any new video. See you next time.